Hi and welcome students. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the navigation pane in Microsoft Word 2016 and how to review your document headings. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have a Microsoft Word document right here and as I scroll through it we can see that it's four pages long. If I want to view the navigation pane the first thing that I have to do is go up here to the view tab and click on that and then after I go there I go to the show group and then I could click navigation pane. So we can see that a navigation pane will pop up on the left side. Now what the navigation pane contains is my document headings by default. So for instance if I wanted to go to my the very top of the document I could click on the first option in the headings which is overview. I click right there and it's going to take me up to the very top of the document. Now this is really nice because I can basically navigate all around different sections of my document simply by clicking on the document heading titles right over here. These titles are made from what you type in on your Word document and then you'll also notice that these headings have specific styles associated with them. Some of them are on the far left and they move right as you decrease and or uh, promote and demote your headings. Now when I say styles, if you go to your home tab right here and you go to the styles group that you can see that there are styles called heading one, heading two, and heading three. These are what decides if your document appears on the far left, middle, or right. So for instance, overview right here is heading one. I could tell because in the styles group you can see that there is shading around heading one. If I wanted to demote that or move this to the right, I would create heading two for that. And notice that when I click on that, this moves in line with the other two below it and adopts the style of object team objectives and logo considerations. If I want to continue to demote it, I could move it over to heading three. And we can see that right over here, it moved to the right in the navigation pane and also the style changed to the text style in heading three. Now I could do that by clicking one, heading one, two or three over here, or I can right click over here and go to promote or demote. So in this case I would go to promote and notice it moved it to heading two and then again promote and it would move it to heading one. Okay. Now there, yeah, there are headings uh, heading three right here and so let's say down here I have this bulleted list. If I highlight this bulleted list and I wanted this to appear as heading three I could highlight that bulleted list go to the home tab styles group and click heading three. Notice that when I did that along the left side over here, all of this bulleted list now appeared on the heading three style. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you how to, how to do is actually change and modify your styles. So up here, maybe you didn't like how heading three looked. Maybe you wanted heading three to appear different in your actual text. Well, then I could right click on heading three and go to modify. And let's say I wanted it to appear in black. And I would just change the color to black. And let's say I wanted it to uh, maybe be a slightly larger size, size 14. And I click OK. Notice that everything with heading 3 highlighted right there also got changed. Now I'm going to show you this in one more way. Let's say heading 1 overview right here. Let's say I wanted this to be in the color orange. Well, I could go right up here to heading 1, right click, modify and let's say I change the color right here to this orange color. I click OK. And notice that I didn't even have it highlighted, but it changed, but something else also changed. Down here on my other heading one, methods, it also changed to orange. And down here on schedule and budget, they're also orange as well. Same with project management. So if you change your heading style right up here, it will change all of the other uh, text that has that heading style in it. So if you wanted to create a template where you wanted a specific style to be applied to certain headings, you can do that just by right clicking and again going to modify. You could also rename these to uh, new names if you wanted to have specific names for them and you would just change the name right there. Again by right clicking and going to rename. So by organizing this area right here, it'll help you jump to different areas on your document, as well as provide consistency between your heading one through heading four styles, or however many uh, heading styles you create. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully it helps you out. And if you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving the video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or video requests, please put it into the comment section below and I'll make sure to respond to you when I have a moment. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.